Hello everybody, welcome to this new video, this is Reddy from Top Notch Programmer and today I'm gonna be showing you how you could collect any information from any Instagram username. I'll show you how you can get the following list, the followers list or the emails from followers from following uh, the phone numbers, the posts, the images, the full HD profile picture and a lot more things. We are going to do this using a tool called Osingram. It is an open source and free tool that you can find on GitHub. Previously I've made another video on this tool but now this tool is updated and I'm gonna be showing you how you can run the updated version. Without further ado, let's start with this video. But if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this one and if you have any question about this video, just join the Discord server. The link Link is in the description. Yo, welcome back everybody and let's start with this video without losing time. So the first thing you're gonna do is to go to the description of this video and click on the Osingram link that I have provided to you. Okay, so let's go to Google and paste this link that we got from description and this is the repository of the Osingram. This is an amazing tool, you can do a lot of things with it and today I'll show you how you can set up. And to set up this tool, you can't set up in the Windows or Mac computer, but this tool needs a Linux environment. And to get a Linux environment, we're gonna do this for free using a Google Cloud Shell. Okay, let's open a new tab on the Google and search for Google Cloud Shell. And click on the first link, you, it opens on the Google. And now you, you need a Google account to do this. So just log in with your account and I'm gonna be using this account right now and after you have been logged in just click go to console this will land you in another page that is the console of the Google Cloud Shell and I'm gonna this is the console right here and I'm gonna be opening it in the new tab just click this button to open a new tab and I can close the old tabs and here is the Google Cloud Shell terminal and here we're gonna set up the Austin Graham so to set up this, first we're gonna clone this project. So go back to GitHub repository and click on the code. Just click on code and click copy the link of the repo. So just click copy here and go back to Cloud Shell. And here what we're gonna do, first let me, let me make this a bit larger so it's easy to see. And here we're gonna uh, clone this project. And to clone it, just type git clone and paste with control plus V paste the link and enter. Now it is cloning the Osingram. And if we type ls, we're gonna see a new folder called Osingram. Now let's go inside this folder with cd Osingram. And now we are inside the folder. Here we have some files. And the first thing we're gonna do is to install the requirements. So to install the requirements, here is the requirements.txt. We're gonna use pip. So pip3, make sure to type 3, pip3 install dash r requirements.txt and enter. Now it will pick all the requirements and install them. Now let's uh, config the settings of the Onsingram. And to config the settings, first we're gonna go inside the config folder that is here. So go inside it with cd config and here here we have credentials.ini uh, and settings.json and uh, you can config it using uh, editing this file or you can uh, just use another command that is much easier to you and I'm gonna be showing you how you could do it right now. Let's clear this terminal. Okay, you can set up the credentials.ini or the settings of the hosting gram that we need using the nano editor here on the terminal. And if you want to do that, you can use nano and credentials.ini and press enter, then you can add the username and password. But for now, I'm gonna be showing you how you could do it in an easier way. So forget it, just go back to the uh, main folder using cd dot dot and press enter. Here we are on the main folder and the command that is much easier is this. So make setup, just type make setup and press enter. Then it is going to ask you for username and I'm gonna be using this one. This is my Instagram page. 
and the password now just type your password and press enter then the credentials.ini is created now we're gonna run the main command of the oscingram and the main command is this one so python 3 main.py and now we have to type the the username or the page or the instagram the the account that we want to collect informations from and for now i'm going to be using my uh personal instagram so this is my personal one and i'm going to press enter so now it's going to log in in our account and now we are logged in and if we if we type list here we're going to show uh, it's going to be showing us the list of the commands that we have and the first command i'm going to be showing you is this one file equal y and this this command is going to save er every information we collect in a file in the output folder so just type file in capital equal equal to y equal to y and then enter so now it is enabled and any information we scrape it's going to save in the file so now what we want to do so to get followers here's this is the command to get the target followers uh, here you can get the followings here you can get emails from the followers emails from the followed and here you can get phone, phone numbers and anything you want you can also get photos you can save all the photo, photos of the target username in your in the folder or in the output folder and you also can get any information you want so for now i'm going to be showing you how you can get uh, how you can get the followers so to get followers just copy this command followers or type followers and press enter now it is going to search for followers so here is the followers directly scrape it and it's very very easy like i said you so this is how you could get the followers list or the following list and if you want to get the emails or phone numbers we ha here we have all the commands where you can use to get the phone numbers or emails from followers or from following so for now i'm just getting these followers and uh, i'm going to be showing you now where you can find these followers that we just collected and uh, i will show you how you can do it right now so just press Control plus c to close uh, the austin gram so now if you type ls we have an output folder right here so if you go inside this folder the cd output and inside here we have the followers here is the followers uh, .txt. and inside that we have all the followers that we want and if you want if you want to download this uh, locally in your computer I'm gonna, we're gonna use github to do this so i'll show you how you can do this using github right now so the first we're gonna do is to go to github.com and you should have an account uh, on the github and here is my account and uh, after you have been logged in your in your account just click this plus button and create new repo and here we're gonna call any name you want so i'm gonna call download download and i'm gonna make this private because i don't i don't want anybody to see it so and click create repository so now we're gonna copy uh these commands here so first thing uh, is git init so go to cloud shell and type git init and the second one is git add all so git add we're gonna type git add all with git add and dot then press enter and now we we are going to commit these changes so git commit dash m for a message and here you can put any message you want uh, I'm gonna type just test and now it will ask you to put the global settings just copy these two commands copy and paste here then edit this email and put your github email here
then press enter, then copy the second command, github, uh, and then paste it here. And inside this your name, put your name and press enter. Now we have to run the git commit again, git commit dash m and here put a message you want, just test. And now has committed the changes and now go back to the wrapper we created and copy this command git remote at origin. So copy it, go back to cloud shell and paste then press enter. Now we have to push the changes. So git push uh, origin master. Now it is asking for the username of the uh, our uh, our github account. So my username is or you can put the email. Yes. You can also put the email. And now we have to put the password of the GitHub account. So just put your password. And now it has pushed the changes all on the GitHub. Now we are done with this. And if we go to uh, GitHub again and refresh the page, here we have all the all the files we had in the output folder. Now we have on the in, in our repository. So if I click re, uh, this file we just created, here all all the followers that I have, and here is the list we collected from the uh, the account my personal account using Osyncram. And here we have all the followers I have. I have. Uh, 450 right now so here we have all of them and to download this on your computer just click code and download zip so it will download in a zip file and if we open it here we have the followers dot uh, the followers of the Radeon account okay Okay, so this is all I wanted to show you for today's video. I hope you like this video. So here is how you can get any information. You can also get the emails or the phone numbers or the, the photos of the, of the account. And uh, also you can get the full HD profile picture for using Osingram. Okay, so with all that said, I see you in the next videos. Peace.